Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make some really wonderful Japanese cherry blossom lanterns. I've been making some at school with my prep children and we've had a lot of fun. It's really easy and I'm going to show you how to make one now. So for this task, you're going to need some blue paper, A3. You're going to need some pink paper, which is A4. You're going to need a glue stick. You're going to need some sort of a, a pink um, texture or pastel or pencils, um, which I'm going to use for the cherry blossom flowers. And for the cherry blossom branches, you're going to need some black paint that I've watered right down almost like, a, like an ink and you're going to need a straw. And once you've got those things, we're all ready to start. So let's get ready, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, the first thing I'm going to need to do for this is to actually make my cherry blossom branches, which is part of the design of my lantern. So I'm going to take some of my black uh, ink, I'm going to take my straw, and I'm going to start by making a big blob of paint right on the end of my paper like this. Then using my straw, I'm going to blow that ink across my page like this. And now I'm going to do maybe one more over here. Oops. If you make a blob like that, that's okay. We can fix that in a moment. One more. Okay, once I have the um, branches of my cherry blossom, I just need to give that a moment to dry. And it shouldn't take too long, because I've already almost dried it by blowing on it. Now, next thing I'm going to do is take uh, either some pink paint, or a pink texture, um, or pink colouring in pencils. I'm going to use a pink pastel for this, and I'm just going to draw on the cherry blossom leaves, like this. Okay, once that's all ready, I'm now going to um, fold my page in half, like this. And I'm just going to crease that down. Okay, I might even crease it this way. Just making sure that everything's dry. Okay, so I don't make a mess with it. Okay, once it's creased over, I'm now going to cut my page up through uh, making sure that the crease is here and cutting through that crease don't cut from the other side and making some nice cuts through here like this just evenly spaced along you can do uh, lots of thin ones or wide ones but I'm just going to cut them evenly like this once I've cut through my page I'm now going to open it back up again and I'm now going to run uh, some glue down one edge and then I'm going to fold my page over so that that edge here is glued on the inside of this side. Okay, once I open it up, I can just sort of press it down a little bit now just so it all sort of pops out. Okay, like this, which is just how I want it to be. Okay, once I have that, I now need to just attach a handle to the top. Okay, now for my handle, I'm just going to use some A4 paper. I'm going to use some pink card paper for this and just cut a nice long strip with my scissors. Okay, and then I'm going to get my lantern and using my uh, strip, I'm going to put some glue on the ends and then I'm going to glue that on the inside like this and then on the inside like that and then I have a handle and now I have a beautiful Japanese cherry blossom lantern which is really easy really fun to make and I think it looks fantastic 
have a go yourself, and in the meantime, check out some great ones that my students have made in class. Good luck, bye.